I totally screwed up, okay? So some of you diehard TFS tried and true fans saw that I made a video about the unboxing of the AHP 200X versus the AHP 201, the first time I've ever done an unboxing video and it disappeared. First time ever I had to pull a video. My timing was actually way off on that one. See, we got that machine before it was actually available and I was so excited to actually deliver to you guys the differences and show you everything about it that I completely ignored the schedule. It wasn't available when I uploaded it. The second thing, as it sometimes happens, we get a, a new unit or whatever and some of the stuff that's in the box isn't quite right. So there are a couple of little differences here that I'm holding in my hand, but we're gonna go through that. But since I can't actually box a, you know, a machine back up and then unbox it again, we're gonna try and preserve the, uh, the original video in how I did unboxing it because you know it's, it was pretty real. I mean, I, I don't wanna fake this stuff. So, I'm just gonna splice in a couple of unique edits as we go along. What is the difference between the AHP 200X and the AHP 201 XD? And how did I get both of them sitting here right in front of me? Now this is the closest you're ever really gonna see me do to an unboxing video, so enjoy. Season five. Let's see what's in the 201. Oh, here we go. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't know, maybe there's something in the instructions, I have no idea. But nobody ever reads those. Now, quick questions now, how did I come across two of these? The manuals are actually different, that's pretty cool. The answer is very, very simple. This is my second AHP AlphaTig 200X to back up that one. Now, two years ago, I bought that one up there, and uh, it is... Uh, it is not broken, so I have the backup still in the box. That's how I got it. We're gonna take all these out here. I think they're relatively packaged the same. Ooh. That one weighs like I remember it weighing. Let's see. Clamshell. Same Z's. Okay. This one has a lighter plastic bag than that one. Two hundred X. Two hundred one. The lids are the, the 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 covers are different. That one says 201 XD, that one says 200 X. Well, I've been told the internals have been upgraded. I'm not gonna take them apart just yet, but like, oh, let's see, what else? A junkie pedal. Nobody likes that pedal. The stinger. Oh, that's ground lead, my bad. Suppose that's a regulator. Get that out of there. Power adapter. Gas line. Trigger switch. Consumables. Take a look at those. There's the stinger. Not bad. There's the torch. The bag was torn. That is a number 17 flex head. All pretty and brand new. They don't always, they don't always stay that way. 201. I feel so awkward when I do these. I'm like sitting here like, what do people say when they do unboxing videos? Trigger. Oh, hello. Number nine. 
All right, that was goof number one, okay? This torch was inside of that box, and unfortunately, this torch is not what was included to go with the Rotoflex, okay? The Rotoflex comes with a standard number 17 head on it, but in the package, there's supposed to be the standard number nine head that goes onto the Rotoflex itself. That was the goof. So this torch, as seen in that video, is not gonna be there. What will be in there is the number nine head that goes onto the Rotoflex torch. Let's get back to it. Set that over there. Hello! Oh, that's nice. Number 17 Rotoflex. That's the uh, twisty, turny little head. That's actually really nice. Okay. That line feels a little bit different, too. Oh, it's like a super flex line almost. That I want to say it's a little bit smaller than the other one, too. Not as flat. Oh. Man, that feels a lot bit different. Okay. But that torch though, that's, oh, that's two torches right there. No, it isn't. It's actually a small number nine Rotoflex head that goes onto the Rotoflex torch. They're interchangeable. Sorry. Number nine, number 17 Rotoflex. That's a pretty good gig right there. Now it's like a surprise in this thing. What do we got? Consumables. Number nine, standard consumables. Number 17, standard consumables. Let's see, hold on a minute, where's the other ones? We get number five, six, and seven. We got five, six, and seven there. A few collets, yeah, that looks, looks to be samesies there. Ooh, Stinger. Stinger. 3570 doesn't show the amperage on it, but I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna safely say that this is the same as the other one still in the correct rating let's see here there's our ground lead or earth clamp whatever you guys want to say i remember i've i've been yelled at for that it's not a ground but that's what everybody calls it let's see here regulator we'll dig those out in just a second here there's our power cord adapter to uh 110 Ooh, different different line it's like a silicon line or silicone silicone hose it's a nicer line. Pretty cool. Hey, there it is. Ah, yes. They were listening. They were actually friggin' listening to everybody, including myself, who complained this pedal sucks. Solution. Okay. That just made my day. I'm happy now. Let's take a look at these regulators real quick. Let's see, that's 200X, 201XD. They're about the same to me, I'd say. So aside from that, okay, all right, hold on a minute. We've got two torches this time. One of them is the 17 Rotoflex, which is really cool. Looks like we got a much better line on this one that doesn't uh, pinch off as easily as this one. I know I've had an issue with that in the past if you're wrapped up too tight on it. Okay, the pedal, we got the Nova pedal this time instead of that little clanker, little, Thing that nobody likes we got more consumables for our number nines we've got uh let's see what else did it come with i mean that that hose is a lot nicer i don't know if it's longer but we got rubber hose here silicone hose over here that's pretty cool now the only question is how does it weld okay here we go they mentioned something about internals being upgraded. Now, without taking the cases apart and starting to look at microchips and stuff like that, I can't necessarily verify that, but I'm pretty sure that there's something that's different about it. Now, what I did notice on the outside, we got this little rubber stopper plug thingy here that actually helps uh, keep the dust out of the uh, ports for the uh, plug. That's really cool. The 200X does not have that. Remember, this is not my other one. This is straight out of the box. The version four when this one's version five. So what I did notice, definitely different. Uh, when you flip on the 201, one here the fans are a little bit quieter which is actually really cool i kind of like that they sound a little smoother the high frequency on it is like it's like instead of uh, that snappy buzzy tone that's normally there so i could definitely probably say that the internals are upgraded the 200x as mighty and awesome as it is it still sounds like the 200x a little bit louder you know the uh, high frequency on it a little bit different maybe you can hear it maybe you can't Either way, I set them both up to run aluminum. 
Uh, we got 110 amps on each unit right now, or at least we should. I have 110 amps. Hey, good, they stuck. The dials, knobs, switches, everything like that seems to be exactly the same. Um, I got 120 hertz on both machines. I've got uh, roughly 35% or so positive balance. Post flow set to like seven seconds or so. These are Weld Metals Online aluminum coupons. I'm going to use these because I trust that they will not create any differences in the results when we put these two side by side. And now down at my feet, I'm actually gonna run one of them left-handed, one of them right-handed, and uh, <laughs> we'll see how this works. I don't know. It's gonna be, it's, <laughs> it's a little weird. The Nova pedal, I really like it so far. It's, it doesn't slide around as easy, but all right <laughs> well <laughs> okay i should i should be okay with this now i just have to watch them both at once here we go well the nova feels a lot better for sure i haven't left-handed welded in a while they seem to run about exactly the same here. Oops. Took a little swim on my left hand. I don't know. Kind of like samesies to me. Let me switch hands just to be on the... Let's be thorough here. I don't see one as like being smoother or anything, so... Oh, really? Okay, now that we're paying attention. Oh crap, I got them backwards. <laughs> my left foot is on my right hand, my right foot is on my left hand. Oh crap. Come on. <laughs> if you guys want to have some fun, run two welders at once and switch hands with feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I haven't welded like that since the third grade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I should have, I should have switched feet. <laughs> okay, let, let me break out some filler wire here. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Okay, 201. Smooth, nice, good. The amount of control I have with this pedal is just amazing. It just, it brings this machine to life. So even if you don't upgrade to the 201, at least get the Nova pedal. Because that's just, I've got, I've got every bit of control out of that one. Now I'll be honest, I'm used to the, uh, the, uh, the other pedal on the AHP 200X. And uh, I got it pretty dialed in, but we'll, we'll see. I already, I already noticed a huge, huge difference here, so. I mean, these are smooth, but I got a lot of action going on in my foot right now trying to stabilize this, and on the Nova, for sure, I was, uh, I was dancing a bit. Oops. I'll put a boogie on the end of that. I mean, that pedal just, so much life in that thing. So much life in that thing. Ha! All right, now, <laughs> I know I am normally a lot more thorough in these videos. However, I trust very much in AHP because I've been using this one for two friggin' years in all the classes, the students beat it up, they go crazy on this stuff. But I can tell you flat out, the upgrades that the 201 comes with right now, things like this torch, I mean, Rotoflex is cool. I usually only use them when I'm doing like tube chassis, roll cages, stuff like that, right? But the line, the line is straight up like way better. You can see it like, when you get in kind of uh, on these, you can see this one just kind of wants to flatten out and fold over, which kind of chokes off the argon, whereas this one stays nice and uh, true uh, you know, all the way through. And it's a little bit smaller, it's a little bit lighter too, but the weight of the torch is a little bit heavier. But either way you slice it, you can slap on the number nine torch that it comes with, which is really freaking awesome. I always liked uh, seeing that you have different options because I have multiple torches on all my air-cooled lines that I use and switch out regularly. So that's a really awesome bonus. But where it really, 
lands, aside from the torch and everything else like that, that Nova pedal, that's exactly what brings this thing to life. Like it is seriously, I'm normally, you know, with the normal pedal with the AHP, I'm normally like bouncing back and forth, uh, you know, trying to figure out where my sweet spot is and hunting that down is always really tough. And for a lot of beginners, for example, that's really normally tricky to do, like to find that sweet spot with them. And we gotta tell them, you know, get the better pedal, grab a Nova, because the Nova really brings it to life. So you can see the difference when I'm actually running the two of them. The Nova, I've got it like just pinpointed exactly where I need it. Whereas on the uh, the a uh, regular AHP pedal, it just, it's, it's not there. You're always hunting it. You learn to get around it, of course, but you know, as far as the rest of it, upgrades on the internals, you know, all the rest of that stuff, you know what? I think there's definitely gonna be some upgrades on it. I wanna tear the thing apart and when in a future video I'll probably end up doing that but for right now I can say that it's a little bit different it welds just as smooth the reliability I bet 10 to 1 it's there because of the abuse that we put the other one through so much that I've never even had my backup out of the box yet so just straight up I think this is a seriously awesome welder we're gonna throw it to the test in some more future videos on some stuff that I usually do and we'll find out what's going on from there hopefully that wasn't too confusing so let me just re uh, like verify here again what is in the box the Rotoflex torch with the number 17 head and the number 9 head it does not have a completely separate number 9 torch it just has the two heads the consumables the new uh, the new flexible line or whatever with the with the new torches and everything else like that they are currently available they have been released They're they're launched they're ready to go uh, it's gonna be only on AHP's website so check the link down in the description that's where you're gonna find it so hopefully that wasn't too confusing and if it was you can drop a question you know get a hold of me or whatever the case or contact AHP so sorry that I had to actually kill a video for the first time ever but you know you can see it was kind of necessary because well, you know, hey, it is what it is. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you need to get in contact with us, email us on the fabricationseries.com website. Hit us up on Instagram at the.fabricator or facebook.com slash thefabricatorseries. And I will catch you guys on the next episode. Hopefully, I'm going to get it right. See you all later.